What do we look for when we review an application for admission to the College of Engineering? Any one applicant will submit somewhere between 30 and 50 pages worth of material. When you think about the fact that we review roughly 20,000 applications per cycle, that's a lot that comes in. And it really gives us a clear picture of each applicant and who they are as a person. One of the best things to do is break the application down into three components, academics, standardized testing, and the personal component. For academics, we are primarily looking at your grades and curriculum in high school, so from ninth grade through your senior year, and we are looking at two things, your grade trajectory across time and the rigor of your curriculum. For grade trajectory across time, we're looking to see how you've done. Have you always been a strong student at a high level? Are you a student that as you got into more rigorous classes, your grades tapered, or maybe you started out more moderately and as you got into more difficult classes, your grades got stronger and stronger. What we're also looking for is the context within your high school related to the rigor of your curriculum. We're looking to see what was available to you and what courses you selected to take in terms of AP, honors, or IB level curriculum. This is important to us because we are looking for students who will take advantage of the full scope of coursework that is available to them here. If you have done that already in high school, it's very likely that you will do exactly the same thing when you come to Cornell. The second component is standardized testing, SAT or ACT. Cornell University has made the submission of standardized testing optional for the 2022-23 and 2023-24 application cycles. If you take them and you feel the scores represent you well, you can submit them as a piece of your application. Students who do not submit test scores will not be penalized in any way. It really is your choice. Third, and what I might argue is the most important, is the personal component. Oftentimes our applicant pool is academically very similar. So to make a good admissions decision, we turn immediately to the personal component. We're looking for students who are a good fit for our program and Cornell University as a whole. Trying to draw out the intangibles to build a community here. We're looking for collaborators, innovators, students who are hardworking and well-rounded. The academics are the skeleton, but the personal component is how we learn about you. So I will focus primarily on two aspects. First, teacher evaluations. We require two, one of which must be from a math teacher. You are strongly encouraged to submit a math teacher recommendation from pre-calculus or calculus who taught you in grade 11 or 12 or the equivalent years. Calculus is at the core of our curriculum, so we are interested in understanding your abilities around calculus. The second recommendation may be from a teacher instructing a subject of your choice. Second is the academic interest statement. This writing component is essential to your application. We want you to express your interest in engineering and Cornell engineering specifically. This year, all engineering applicants are required to write two supplemental essays. Essay one is required of all applicants and essay two, you can choose between question A or question B. Each response has a 250 word limit. I want to stress that this is oftentimes how we differentiate between one student and another. So take your time and use this opportunity to really connect with our admissions committee. If you do that, you will very successfully have done a great job on your application. At the end of the day, our goal is to bring in a really diverse and eclectic group of students that will be a community working their way through the engineering program together.